Simple science. What devices use electricity? Which of these devices run on electricity? A lamp needs electricity to work. A TV needs electricity. And a CD player needs electricity. Does a stapler need electricity? No. How about a pencil sharpener? No, that doesn't need electricity either. The lamp, TV, and CD player are electrical appliances that work by being connected to mains electricity. This is electricity supplied to your house that comes from sockets in the wall. The appliances are plugged in, and the electricity travels along a cord to the appliance to make it work. You should be careful never to play with electric cords, plugs, and sockets, because the electricity that comes from sockets is very powerful, and it can kill you. Other devices run on electricity supplied from batteries, and these can be safer to handle. For example, this torch runs on batteries. This MP3 player runs on batteries, and this watch runs on batteries. Notice that each device requires different sized batteries depending on its power needs. You can make a simple electric circuit yourself, using a battery, some wire, and a light bulb or buzzer. To make the circuit work. The wires must connect the parts of the circuit together, so electricity can travel between the negative and positive terminals of the battery. The light bulb lights up in this circuit because the circuit is complete. However, the bulb doesn't light up in this circuit because there is a break in the wire. You can use a switch. To turn the light bulb on and off, when the switch is open, it creates a break in the circuit, so the bulb doesn't light up. But when the switch is closed, the circuit is complete, and the bulb lights up. You can make a switch out of a metal paper clip, because metal conducts electricity. However. Plastic and wood are electrical insulators, so electricity won't travel through them. That is why metal wires and plugs that conduct electricity are coated or covered with plastic on the outside, so that when you touch them, you won't get an electric shock.